Hey guys. Well, I want to say uh, thank you to everybody. I've, I've hit 600 subscribers. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's been a few years getting there. Uh, and an awful lot of videos. But I've enjoyed uh, enjoyed putting this stuff out. Uh, I try not to put out just a bunch of dumb, uh, same old, same old stuff. I try to teach. Um, sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. But uh, it, it's appreciated that all of you spend your time watching the stuff I put out. Um, likes and comments are great. Um, if you don't comment, I don't know who's watching. YouTube doesn't show me who hits the like button. Uh, anyway, I wanted to talk about some things that went wrong. I know I don't show you a lot of things that go wrong because um, I delete those. Oh, now it's going to hail. We had snow this morning. Uh, it was kind of nuts. So, anyway. So, I did this oxalic match. Um, and if you remember, I put them in a cardboard box with a bag. Problem is, I stacked more in there than I should have. I had like 1,300 in the one in the one bag. So what ended up happening, the oxalic goes in and, and then it's cooling. And it was pretty cold out here. So a lot of it got chilled before it absorbed into some. Some in the middle. Um, the bottom was real good, most of the sides were good. But if you can take a look at, at like this one, the light spots there, it hasn't fully absorbed. Um, the end here is good, but it just doesn't quite have enough of it in the middle. So what I've been doing is taking the really good ones that have, uh, you know, extra on them. And you can see some of these have too much because if they're too wet, when they get in the box, they'll run down into the into the brood and if it runs onto the brood it'll kill it um, so you don't want much of it running around so I've been layering these um, in between so that when it turns liquid when it's warm riding around in the pickup the heavy ones will bleed into the weaker ones and fill them all up when I'm installing them if I've got some ones that are drier, maybe they were on top and all the juices run to the bottom of the bag, I either flip them around to try to reabsorb or I throw them in the bottom of the bucket. But the other issue I had um, is this: these things float. And when there's that many of them in there, you can't keep them pushed down. So this whole bottom here, I've got about that much of just oxalic and glycerin that didn't get to absorb into anything. So I need to get it out of there, get it back in my kettle, warm back up so that I can, you know, soak some more uh, towels. I need need to find a way to, to hold them down uh, in the solution. Um, so it's an ongoing process, keeps getting better, but I'm going to have enough now to do for quite a while before I have to do it again. So anyway, uh, just thought I'd shout that out there to you guys. I had just talked with Orlando about the bees in California he said they're doing okay uh, it's been wet and cold down there he said the fields are really wet um, and they're growing some not like we'd like them to um, but everybody's running into that it was a couple of years ago they had the same issue it was just cold and wet um, but they're surely doing better than they were here where it was snowing this morning so anyway that's the report for now um, I'm gonna get back to bagging these things up